This week three college football edition of the Sports Gambling Podcast is presented by MyBookie.ag. Right now, to honor football, MyBookie is offering up to $1,000 in free bets using that promo code SGP. That's right, $1,000 in bonus bets on your first deposit when you use the promo code SGP. Play, win, and get paid at MyBookie.ag. We're also brought to you by BetQL, the only app you'll need to make smart bets this season. Track line movement history, score sharp data, and use a powerful algorithm that gives out their best plays. If you're betting serious cash, you need a serious app. Head to the App Store or Google Play Store to download BetQL and make sure to follow them on Twitter at BetQL app. Welcome everyone to the Sports Gambling Podcast. I am Sean, stacking the money green with my partner in picks, Ryan. Real money. Kramer. What's happening, Kramer Dog? Well, they say, uh, or at least Deion Sanders says, if I look good, I'm going to play good. So I'm trying to look good today because yeah. I didn't play good last weekend. <laughs> no, uh, not an amazing day, uh, picks wise for the podcast or weekend. We, well, let's see. We see what I did there. I, I set it up because I did have a good weekend in college football. Oh, I'm you like did. YouTube fucking buffoons. <laughs> because I'm looking at your lock Fresno plus three. That did that hit? push okay blue means push sean but uh, but you hit your uh your dog right texas plus oh no that didn't no hit. Didn't well what about your three team t's you hit that oh so that, no that doesn't look like that went through wow. i hit our gal san diego state university plus 225 wow. before we get in this tout battle welcome and welcome him on colby dan aka the database colby how was your how was your college football well you know uh been better, but, uh, you know, if you do follow the college experience, all my locks on the sheets we release on, on Friday, uh, I, I did have a winning record despite my shitty record in our six-pack. There you so go. So I'm just going to save myself a little so bit. So I'm also blaming yeah. the six-pack because that's really what's screwing me up. <laughs> Let's recap. What are our to season to date, what are the six-pack records, Sean? Six-pack records. <laughs> right, Cry, uh, Kramer, you're nine and five. Sean, you're five and nine. Colby's five and nine. <laughs> However, lock percentage. Mm. Kramer is 100%, even though he has a uh, push, a push in there. I don't know how he's giving himself 100. <laughs> uh, Sean, 67%. Colby, 67%. However, both Sean. Colby and I are 100% on our bonus locks. That's right. Kramer, only 50%. You guys have not hit a dog or a tease. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm giving them out at 50%. So <laughs> interesting to see. We'll have to get the bet spurts data to see who's actually cashing the most. Because I, I mean, the problem is Colby. The games he makes us pick are just well, and that's like, what, what I, the fuck do I know about Bowling Green? I wanted to level set. <laughs> They're terrible. I wanted to level set. So Colby, the point of this show is to pick the six games you like the most. <laughs> just yeah. so we're clear he has now. the advantage. Yeah. He is the expert. I did eleven locks on our on 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 this yeah. past college experience. So I mean, hey. And, and what I would throw out there is I, what I'm looking at right now when I see Sean season to date eight seventeen and one. I see a guy set up for regression. Yeah. I see a guy who is losing at an unsustainable rate. <laughs> well, I'm looking at my dog percentage <laughs> and uh, I'm looking at my lock percentage, Sean, my I bonus won't. locks. Those are games that I'm actually allowed to pick and that <laughs> I'm a gut handicapper and my gut is just being poisoned with this. It's like uncooked Chinese food that he's just forcing down. You our should gullets. just be thankful yeah, that our like gals are better. I think this is a special year for our gals, guys. It could be. Oh, our gals, you know they why. came through. Yeah. You know why? Yeah. Because they were our dogs. They were my dogs. How much money have we made on <laughs> these guys over the over the past couple of years? Hashtag right. fade chip. Yeah. <laughs> my my college football betting strategy has just come down to fade chip Kelly, and it's paying off uh, like you couldn't believe. So I have the unit. Uh, the current, uh, what I think is, I've not spoken to official sports gambling podcast record keeper. But see, he's going to include all these other, the bullshit that uh, Colby makes us pick, isn't he? Or... What's included in this? Uh, it's like I was going to say something, but <laughs> okay. Sean clearly has all the answers. No. Claire, what, like, it sounds feel, feel a lot like I'm having a repeat of a conversation from an hour ago. Um, yeah, I, overall, overall, to start, I am up 5.3 units. Mm. You know we like talking about our units here on the Sports Gambling Long. Podcast. Cox. Well, well, Sean is down 7.3 units. That's a lot of units. Uh, 8.3 if you, inclu- if you include Big Dick Nick. <laughs> and uh, Colby, you're you're down 3.1 units. If you look at the, uh, I mean, we have all this data, Sean. 
So uh, I'll have to start tweeting some fun stuff out. Sean, you are up one point. All right. I, Let's I, just I, look I, at the lock dog tees because that's the stuff I actually bet. So, <laughs> Sean, you are up a total. I, I'm doing hot math in my head right now. 2.95 units on the lock dog and tees. There you go. Ryan is down two units. Yeah, that's what the listeners pay for. The lock you know dog what, though? and tees. Here, here's, in reality, though, I'm going to have Patrick adjust something. We're not betting flat across our lock dog, dog and tees. Uh, we, I assume if you like a lock, you're betting it m- more than a dog, a money line dog. So we'll, we'll make an adjustment there to make it a little bit more realistic. Does this have all the records on there? Because I will state that if you ignore my six-pack and look at my overall record, <laughs> I'm 88, 66, and 5 against the spread. That's ahead of anyone else on the college experience. Listen. All right, yeah. there you go. Great Listen. start. Well, I, and I just uh, – my favorite part about the podcast is just how sensitive Colby is <laughs> when he loses. Okay. It's, and and, and yeah, I do get sensitive. And what the fuck happened to Texas? Two, four down. I had a sweet – I was sitting on a sweet ticket in Vegas of Texas parlayed with uh, San Diego State, both money lines, 100 to win like $1,100. Yeah. I blame – <laughs> There's a lot of people you can blame the for that back, disaster. The running back that dropped that yeah. fourth down and one. But that comes to culture, right? And yeah. who's in charge of culture at Texas? Who's the minister of culture on the Texas sideline? One, Matt McConaughey. Ooh, wow. Ooh, I am blaming whoa, you, whoa. sir. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. You're supposed to get these guys loose. You're supposed to have like a bongo session before the game, get their <laughs> mind right. These guys were tense as hell on those fourth and goals. We get one of those, we cover. We get two, we win the goddamn game. You can blame Texas. I'll blame all my Friday night picks the past two weeks, but Boise State especially here. Oh, my God. Dude, they outgained Marshall that by 400 insane. yards. Marshall has negative yards in the second half. They they keep turning it over inside their 20. They down the ball at the four-fucking-yard line. I mean, yep. come on. Last I checked, um, I think points is how they determine who wins the game. <laughs> so I appreciate your stats. You lost on that too, buddy. All right. Uh, I did. I did. <laughs> Honestly, everything kind of went downhill after that Fresno game, though. Oh, that that was really just. They're up by 10 with like six minutes left. Losing it was game. delightful. Yeah. It was delightful. Uh, I really understood the power of the mush after this weekend. Let's get to it. Time for college football picks presented by our good pals, the presenting sponsor to the Sports Gambling Podcast. Sports Gambling Podcast Network, the college experience. You got it all, courtesy of MyBookie.ag, the presenting sponsor. Head over there, play, win, and get paid over at MyBookie.ag. All the college action you want to get involved in. If you wanted to take uh, Furman, my bonus dog, that was available. Our bonus lock covered barely against Georgia State, coming off their Super Bowl win against Tennessee. If you notice... Up on our uh, big board here on youtube.com slash sports gambling podcast. Gardner Minshew is up there. Gardner Minshew doing it for the Cougs in the NFL. Washington State University on a hot roll. All these things, all these teams, all these people, all these picks, you can do them. You can bet them. MyBookie.ag. You want to get wild, check out their prop builder and customize your own props. That's right. Play, win, and get paid at mybookie.ag and use that promo code SGP for up to $1,000. That's right, $1,000 in bonus bets. How awesome is that music? It does. It gets me jacked. It gets me excited to watch college football. Also, speaking of obscure bonuses, Coastal Carolina. You can cash my Kansas under three wins bet right now. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) They were supposed to to win that game. Yeah. You can't knock out Coastal Carolina. It's going to be a long, long year. Yes. Let's do it. Let's break down Colby's six pack, which is apparently is not a specialty for Colby. <laughs> Saturday. Long, long season. Long season. Trust the process. Saturday, 10 a.m. Air Force squaring off against Colorado. Colorado minus three and a half, minus 175 on the money line. Air Force plus 155. Total sitting <clears throat> at 58 and a half. Colby. Are you riding your buffs coming off that big behind you know, come from behind victory? And of course, Nebraska. I locked up Nebraska. Ah. I couldn't even be mad at that when I'm rooting for Colorado. When they come back, I'm like, dude, let's let's uh, take my money. <coughs> take my money. All right. Look, the buffs gr- make great halftime adjustments in both games. Yes. Uh, so far this season. 
uh, Air Force, now they, they will be used to the altitude since they're in Colorado Springs and they're coming down to Boulder, but uh, I just think, you know, Colorado's, they got a, a great offense, man. They got great receivers, three deep, four deep at wide receiver. Montez is balling. Mangum's ru- running his ass off. Mel, I'm buying, I'm getting in on Mel Tucker. Buffs to wow. cover three and a half. Wow, because you seemed uh, skeptical at times. He has made great half. Well, the first half, I always feel like the defenses the past two weeks have been awful. Now, he does make great halftime adjustments. I'm starting to buy into this coaching thing, maybe. Mm. You know? Can I ask a dumb question? Sure. Are they the Colorado Bison or the Colorado Buffalo? Buffaloes. Why is their mascot a bison? It's a buffalo. What it's a bison. About? It's the same it's thing. It's not the same thing. All right. This Google. was bothering me today. There's no buffalo on this continent. They're just bison. Is that it's a the, fact? It's a fact. Or is that Catalina? A- anywhere in this, this country. Maybe that's a zoo. You're sure that's a fact? I'm going to Google it. Yeah. But it, it's like... Uh, wait, wait. It's yeah, like how Ryan's we, right. I don't no, think it's how right. we call Kleenex or, you know, tissues Kleenex. No, it's, it, but buffalo's a different animal. All right. Well, they sound better than uh, bison. I, you're, you're telling me there's no buffaloes in North America? No, they're actually bisons. What? I'm but gonna, everyone calls yeah. the buffaloes. But that's so everyone's wrong. I mean, that's right. a ridiculous. Anyway, uh, yeah, letdown spot for Colorado, right? It is a letdown spot. Big time. Triple letdown. option though. Le- that even more reason for it to be a letdown spot. They're coming off this emotional win. They're like, yeah, whatever. We got to deal with these pussies. They run that high school offense. <laughs> They're not preparing. Uh, you don't prepare for the triple option. The triple option gets you. I'll take Air Force in the points here. Wow. Mm. Who's going to guard? La- who at the service academy can guard LaVisca? This Chanel? doesn't seem like an extreme trap to you. No. You're not terrified by the fact that this is only three and a half. The the, the bells aren't the, the red flags aren't raising in the Danta pace right now. No, man. I think Colorado's going to win the national championship. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> I'll, also, I'll also take Air Force. <laughs> I think Colorado's been able to get by with these second halves because of the elevation. And uh, I don't know if they play both games at home, but. I, 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 you brought up a good point, Colby, and that is Air Force will be used to the elevation. Colorado will not be used to the triple option. Probably spent a lot of time celebrating, knocking off Scott Frost in Nebraska that everyone was super high on. Great letdown opportunity for the Buffs. Seriously, here. though, what happened to Nebraska? They lost. What, they, but they like blowing in out in that Colorado. game, like what happened? I, in I that think game? Col- well, Colorado's offense was not doing anything, and once I think you, you, I don't know if it's nerves or what, but I'm saying they have pro players at each position 80 <laughs> percent of the tickets 60 percent of the cash on colorado right now good luck with that. and the lines come down from five and a half so scary scary danger don't danger pay, you, don't you know what we, we <laughs> should start i think the database yes has some sort of unknown to to itself ability to detect anomalies in lines Yet it seems to be favoring the wrong side here. <laughs> you do this a lot. This feels like a trap. I'm taking I'm our not pals following. over at uh, oddshark.com. They have simulated the score and they got it. Colorado twenty two point six. Air Force thirty five point four. How much you want to bet on that? <laughs> <laughs> so you can take that uh, Air Force alternate line at minus uh, eleven or whatever. We really do need to to set up the the database. Versus supercomputer. Yeah, we got it. We uh, it's like when uh, when Big Blue beat that Russian guy in chess. Look out! <laughs> All right, next up, Western Kentucky scoring off against Louisville and Nashville, Tennessee. Wait, is that right? Yep. Okay. <laughs> Strange, but yes, it's All right. true. Louisville minus ten, minus three eighty. Uh, Western Kentucky plus three fifteen on the money line. Total sitting at fifty one and a half. Colby, what are you doing? Look, Western Kentucky somehow sprinkled some fairy dust on 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 FIU. FIU, they return a lot. They lost their their QB in that game, but uh, there's even with the backup, FIU should win that game. Still not buying into Western Kentucky. I'll tell you what I am buying into. I am buying into Scott Satterfield and the Louisville Cardinals. Mm. Uh, I was low on them coming into the year, but I have changed my opinion after watching them against Notre Dame and then last week against an FCS. So I got the Cardinals uh, big in this one. Doesn't this feel like another emotional play, Sean? <laughs> He's very mad about Western Kentucky and what happened See, the, last the week. See, the database is supposed to remove emotion. <laughs> You're supposed to be a cold-hearted <laughs> algorithm. You're not supposed to feel. Right, I'm worried. The database is becoming sentient. He cares. It's becoming human. 
<laughs> it has feelings, Sean. I don't like it. Uh, yeah, where are you going, buddy? I know you like this game. Yeah, I like Western Kentucky. I'm the not. Hilltoppers? I, I'm, You're not on the hilltoppers? I'm not buying into Louisville. Louisville. Right. I'm just gonna fade Louisville. Uh, what are they? They're three and twelve ATS in the last fi- last fifteen games. Highly overrated, in this guy's opinion. Give me a give me a Western Kentucky as well. And Colby, you're on Louisville. I am on Louisville. Wow, Sean, we're in a great spot right now. <laughs> we're, we're fading <laughs> Colby in his own six pack. That may secretly be my strategy to get off the schneid. <laughs> Hashtag regression candidate. Louisiana Tech squaring off against Bowling Green in Bowling Green, Ohio. Kickoff two o'clock West Coast time. Louisiana Tech minus ten favorite minus three ninety plus three twenty going the other way for Bowling Green. Total sitting at a whopping 58 and a half. Colby, let me guess. You're taking Bowling Green? No. They're, I have them as the second worst team in the FBS, short of UMass. And uh, I think Bowling Green is awful. I think Louisiana Tech, uh, you know, they got their ass beat by Texas week one. Last week, uh, Grambling. They, it was in Classic a close Bulldogs. Game. Yeah. They were in a close game, but Skip Holtz, former East Carolina coach. I can't fade the legend. You know what I mean? <laughs> I got uh, the Bulldogs coming into Ohio, grabbing a, a, a win by more than 10. Can mm. we talk about this so far? Yeah. I just w- What I just heard you say, you're, that w- we're picking Bowling Green currently, and the next game, teaser alert, we're picking UMass, which are both <laughs> your two worst teams in the country. You want to make money, or do you want? How am I supposed to turn this record, up, you know, and get this going? You gotta go. As much as I hate laying a ten-point road favorite, I gotta look to Bowling Green's inability to cover even at home. Two and eleven ATS in their last thirteen games at home. If you can't bark as a home dog, you're just not barking. Take Bowling Green behind the woodshed. And put it out of its misery. Give me the Louisiana Tech Bulldogs laying 10. You're a Terry Bradshaw guy. He went to Louisiana Tech, right? <laughs> uh, Is that why he's so smart? <laughs> Kramer, what are you doing here? I'm absolutely going to take Bowling Green. Oh, okay. No. Why wouldn't I? <laughs> Do you see what's happening right now? Yes. I am on I am on uh, Colby's side in Colby's six pack. Colby, Not a good spot every, to be. Every side Colby's been on is getting greater than 80% of the money. Or eighty percent of the tickets. <laughs> uh oh, Mayor right. of Square City, Colby Dant. You gotta do it. We're we're now in week three. What is week three, Sean? It's the adjustment to the adjustment. What mm. have we seen? We've seen enough to make these strong opinions. Worst team in the country, he says. Sec- second worst, I said. Second yeah. worst team in the country, he yep. says. Uh yeah, I'm gonna fold fade that. I'm just uh, Sean, honestly, I'm a little drunk. I may just continue this pattern. I already went Ooh. against one of my – I, I was going to pick Louisville until Colby did. Yes. And I, and I yes. audibled. So, <laughs> here okay. we go. UMass. <laughs> like, like, no, we're not talking about basketball. UMass football. What other <laughs> podcast is covering UMass football? <laughs> Tweet us at Gambling Podcast, another godforsaken podcast that's covering UMass fucking football. UMass <laughs> squared off against Charlotte in Charlotte, North Carolina. UNC minus 19 point favorite, minus 1100 on the money line. UMass a plus 700 oh, dog. Whoa. 69 is the Yikes. total. Colby, what are you doing? I'm riding the Charlotte 49ers. Look, if UMass can't beat a uh, 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 average oh. FCS team at home, Southern Illinois beat them by 25. Do you think they're going to come into Charlotte on the road against Will Healy? Yes. First year hire, first year hire. Love what Will Healy did at Austin P in the FCS. Love what he's doing at Charlotte. Th- this they're going to blow him out. <laughs> this is going to be this blowout city right here. Charlotte two and eleven straight up in their last thirteen games played in September. No one rallies like the Massachusetts Minutemen. <laughs> they uh, no one believes in this team, and maybe it's because they're not that good. But I'm not taking another uh, another crazy big favorite. Give me <laughs> UMass. Uh, yeah, I was just I was uh, looking at some more numbers here. Colby's bottom two teams are a miraculous 100 percent against the spread <laughs> the following week, Sean. I, I don't know if that's accurate, but it sounds good. Uh, let me just confirm that we have another college football side getting more than more than 80 percent of the tickets. I'm looking at it right now, and it seems like oh, a boy, giant a, discrepancy. Uh, and honestly, Sean, the last couple have been in the 95 to 98 percent <laughs> range. <laughs> Give me you, Mass. Take the minute, man. Do your thing. Oh, we're doing our thing. I'm not handicapping a goddamn thing. It's called winning 
Betts, <laughs> Clemson, and the beautiful Trevor Lawrence squared off against Cuse in Syracuse in the Carrier Dome, 4.30 p.m. kick. This should be a highly contested game, even though Clemson, 27.5-point road favorite, minus 5,000 on the money line. Syracuse, plus 2,500 dog. 61 points is the total Colby. What Look, are you doing? Real quick. Do you really believe that, Sean? You think Trevor Lawrence is attractive? Uh, he looks like a chick. Uh, he looks like Sunshine if Sunshine like had some bad nose genetics, you know? Yeah. <laughs> like it's it there's it's something's wrong. Something's wrong with the old face there. <laughs> Listen, I'm not saying I like him, but I'm just <laughs> yeah, saying I, I heard he you looked... say he was attractive. Well, I'm sure you know certain percent of the audience finds him attractive we have what two percent female just be careful just be careful you never know he might report something a b getting into it now so oh whoa. see what i did there yeah all right i'm sorry no clemson coming off a physical battle in the jimbo bowl and and syracuse getting destroyed and it was uh you know i went against my own yeah stat. we ignored the look ahead line for clemson and or for syracuse at our own peril last week you ignored that and the Josh Jackson part of the Kramer fuck my life well, tour. and back to back road games. Uh, I, over the summer, I did a thing on Power Five teams that play back to back road games. They yeah. were s last year. There was fifty five games, uh, s fifty five sets of them. Teams were seven and forty eight in back to back and road Clemson's games. Clemson's in that spot here. No, Syracuse just got done. They lost. So isn't they Clemson on the second of a back to back? No, they were at home last were year. Were they? But or last week, <coughs> but uh. My point was is that Syracuse had started out with the first two games on the road, so they lost. I should have, should have listened to my home stats. opener for Syracuse against yeah. the Clemson Tigers, huge dogs. Give me, give me Syracuse catching twenty. I'm on the half. orange too. I'm oh, on the shit. orange. Yeah. There is uh, a. <laughs> there's been crazy line movement. I think this was originally at like, uh, let's see, something like eighteen. Yeah, it it opened at seventeen. Seventeen. So you're getting ten and a half points of adjusted line value. Syracuse has played Clemson better the past two years than anyone in the country. Now, is it a revenge spot for Clemson because they didn't lose? They won the game last year, yeah, right? They, they won just the played game. them yeah. really close. Uh, I they're think coming off a huge win against A&M, number twelve in the nation. Yeah, and Syracuse yeah. is coming off an embarrassing loss. They yeah. get home, and, and in a weird way, Trevor Lawrence has kind of looked not amazing. I mean, he's looked good. Yeah, and they've they've won, but. Uh, I would agree. I would not, agree. He's yeah. not. He's not putting up Heisman numbers. I would agree. Yeah, but that part of that's he's just not in a goofy offense. I that's thought. I, I thought the Clemson offense struggled last week. Now I will say A and M played absolutely do like dog shit. But we talked about it though. Jimbo yeah. knows that like, they know each other. This was always going to be a close game. I don't think you. Well, Clemson kind of owned that game because well, Kellen also Mon Texas A and M like went out of yeah. their way to cover at the very end. Yeah. Call the timeout. I love it, Jim. Yeah, we, yeah. we love everything I've we said about him. We got to put him in the uh, in the Hall of Fame. <laughs> He's on the mount. Is he on the boat trip with uh, with Odell? All right. Where am I going with yeah, this? Yeah. Where are you going? Uh, yeah. I, what are you doing? We were we were always taking the points with this game. Oh okay. wow! Wow. Rare agreements between everyone here. Uh, it's just in general when teams go up north to play Syracuse, it's weird shit happens. Yeah, and, and it's a tough spot to long play. Long travel spot. It's in that it's night. In a weird dome. I wow. love taking yeah. I love taking a, a home dog at night. Might even get a little and taste of that plus twenty five hundred. That game was physical against Texas A and M. Texas yeah. A and M is one of the one, I mean they have guys that can be a little match sore now you gotta travel. Physicality. Right. Mm. Nobody likes that. Yeah. Four thirty AM kick. That can't be right. No, it's PM. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Florida State heading into Charlottesville, Virginia, where U V gay as Kramer. Oh, whoa, whoa, not that whoa, there's whoa. anything wrong with no. that. U V A minus seven and a half, minus two eighty on the money line. Florida State plus two forty. <coughs> Total sitting at fifty seven points. Colby, what are you doing here? You riding the Mountaineers? <laughs> what? No wait. <laughs> That's what's the, the Cavaliers. Cavaliers, <laughs> same difference. You were thinking of the Mount Me. I'm on, I'm, on, I'm on Virginia, man. I've been high on Bronco Mendenhall the whole year. You know, the whole off season, I was said, "Hey, this team's gonna." Miami lost again. To, <sighs> so, so I mean, is it Virginia to run away with it, or is North Carolina coming up out of nowhere? Um, Mac Brown doing the job. Yeah, but I'm taking Virginia here. I, the Florida State looked like they quit on the, the coach last week against L Louisiana Monroe. Missed extra point is what got them that win. <laughs> That picture oh, yeah. <laughs> of the guy, I mean, I guess 
here's what I'm assuming. I'm assuming it was a trick play where the guy went into motion like around and yeah. did like an end around gimmick. Or he just lined up backwards because that team has quit on Willie. Why is Willie Tiger a great coach? He's not a great coach. Uh, clearly. Yeah. Right? Still, can't, still can't, hey, you know what they say. If you can't handle the heat, get the fuck out the kitchen. <laughs> so, Kramer, are you on Hashtag uh, Kramer F. ML. Oh, Lay the being good. points with yeah. Virginia. <laughs> They've already got a national championship in their pocket this year, Sean. <laughs> Forgot about that aspect of the uh, FML tour. I'm also going to take Virginia, Florida State, 0 and 2 against the spread so far this season. Coming off a sweet 1 and 6 ATS in their last seven games. Virginia 2 and 0 ATS in their uh, this season. 4 and 1 ATS in their last five, and uh, 5 and 2. ATS in their last seven against the ACC. UVA, good spot for them. Like what they're going to – and I'm totally on board. It just feels like they've quit. FSU quitters. Quitters. You know what? You Maybe you're thinking, oh, I'm going to quit gambling. Yeah, right. <laughs> Don't kid yourself. You're not going to quit gambling. What you got to do is bet smarter and not harder. And that's where BetQL comes in. That's what you got to do. You got to – Head over to Twitter at BetQL app. Give them a follow to get all the late breaking info. They can tweet out some fun clips. It's a great follow. And you guys know how to download an app, right? You're listening to a podcast. You're app savvy. Even Colby knows how to download an app. Sorry, Colby. <laughs> not the most, not the most uh, tech savvy person. It's pretty simple. You just go to the Google Play Store or the uh, Apple iTunes Store, whatever you call it. Type in BetQL. Download that baby. Get some sharp data. Week three of college football. They got it. Week two NFL games. Their best bets. The algorithm. It's all it's all brewing. It's all happening. Get it over at betql.co and give them a follow on Twitter at BetQL app. We're back. Oh, you're not worried about the UVA look ahead to ODU spot? Who? Okay. Just kidding. Kramer <laughs> FML. <laughs> Yeah, Kramer did. Uh, they didn't cover against ODU, right? Of course. No, not. ODU, ODU got the cover there. Yeah, guys, little uh, little nugget though. Not not good for our Syracuse pick. BetQL has uh, has Clemson as a five star pick according to their computer at minus twenty seven and a half. So we are go we're going head to head with BetQL this week when it comes to that game. All right, bring it on. Bring it on. Yes, let's look top twenty five in. State College, Pennsylvania, coming off a miraculous cover. The Penn State Nittany Lions laying 17 at home against Pitt, who I should have bet last week. Uh, Pitt plus 600, Penn State minus 900, total sitting at 54. Colby, what are you doing here? Yeah. Um, I'm taking the 17. I'm still not convinced Penn State. I mean, Buffalo was winning at halftime. Yes, you know they were. I mean? I'm sure they were sleepwalking a bit into that one, right? I mean, Penn State's the better team here by far, but Pitt is not a rivalry of Penn State, right? Yeah, it is. Mm. It no, is. I think it is because yeah, it's a big rivalry. Not, it, uh, no, that not was huge in the seventies and eighties. Okay, yeah. but nowadays yeah. it's not. Right? But I, think it's I would back. say I would say there's probably some a uh, little bit of rivalry because a lot of guys who are at Pitt that were Pennsylvania guys probably got overlooked by Penn State and Penn State recruiting. So I think they're going to come in with the chip on their shoulder. Wah. I don't think they're I don't I think they're you know, uh, I'm still kind of high on them for the season. So give me Pitt plus 17. I'm with you on that. Pitt plus 17. It's just too many points, I think. They're they're a competitive team. I I, I don't I don't see them getting blown out. They played Virginia. They covered against or no, they did they mm. cover against Virginia? See, I I think No, they didn't cover against Virginia. I think Penn State 65% of people are in Penn State, Ryan. Yeah, that that's all right. Pittsburgh eight and three ATS in their last eleven. I don't. Uh, I think the ACC is dog shit oh, at this okay. point, and I think this is going to be more of a statement of sure. Penn State they 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 struggled a little bit with a really probably better than most people think Buffalo team. Yeah. Penn State is on a nice hot streak. Five but at the end of the day, they covered. 5-0 and o ATS, their last five at home. They covered a big number. They got a garbage touchdown with like two minutes left. Those <laughs> bastards. Well, how yeah. can you ha – I mean, there's a good chance if you're covering 29 and a half, there's going to be some garbage in well, there, Well, especially right? when you're down at the half. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you cover 29 and a half in a half. You're just fine. Uh, I, I don't love laying 17 points, but I'm going to lay the 17 points here with Penn State. Small travel. 
pit scrappy and they they played well they played well last week so i i think they i think they're gonna hang in state college pennsylvania now heading down to beautiful orlando florida central florida kicking off 12 30 west coast time squaring off against stanford UCF minus seven and a half point favorite minus 300 on the money line Stanford plus 250 total sitting at 59 Colby what are you doing here I mean that hooks tempting but I'm gonna I'm gonna take UCF minus the points mainly because breaking news we got oh, oh. Sta- Stanford's uh star offensive tackle pr- pr- projected as a top 10 pick Walker did he, he retire no oh I, I, I Stanford players have been retiring. <laughs> he had he, he has season ending surgery, and also KJ Costello is coming back from a concussion. Uh, we'll see how how healthy he is, but it's not going to be great when you don't have your best offensive lineman. They got to go cross country. I have a I normally like to fade teams that go all the way across the country. Oh, um, traveling is tiring, right? Well, in college football and college basketball, the road is when you lose, especially when you get to go on far far trips. Yep. So I'm doing UCF minus the seven and a half. UCF looked pretty good last week. They they actually cut that game short because of some weather. That that was a blowout, but that's what we all hit on. Uh, well, um, to point some st- so Central Florida and Penn or in Pittsburgh play next week. Yeah. So I saved it from the previous game, but it's part of the reason I faded Pittsburgh here. Central Florida. I don't know what I was saying. I lost my point. <laughs> I got distracted. I, was, I I had the Twitter feed up. Here's what I, I'll be honest. Here's what I was doing. I was scrolling through the Twitter feed and I realized how many awesome games our listeners threw out to Colby that he could have picked. Instead of his six pack is littered with two of the worst teams. In the <laughs> no, 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 we're not on the Twitter questions. Right? I, I know. Yeah. I'm just saying you could have okay. let the Twitter questions influence your fucking six pack. No, but no, and we no. could have picked some games that people are gonna, actually going to be watching. <laughs> That's ba- not what this show's about. Yeah. Ba- <laughs> You're off track. Back, back to uh, uh, Central Florida versus Stanford. Um, Stanford's solid. Stanford's really solid. But this is a bad spot for them. And I'm I'm 100% going to take the Central Florida. Very Gold Knights. Golden Knights. Yeah. Very Golden Knights? Yeah. You know, I was looking at your logo, and I uh, – never mind. Um, yeah, I, I love Central Florida. Let's let's lay the points. Man, I really got now, distracted. this is crazy. Wait, literally, Why did- great games up and down the Twitter feed. What was uh was the opening line really plus two and a half UCF or was that just where am I are you that's crazy no that, that can't be right no no it was six oh okay that's what I'm they, seeing all right Central Florida getting a lot of the a lot of the tickets right now yeah uh, listen the public has to be right sometimes UCF I think uh, I think rolls um why else do I like UCF five and one ATS their last six games that's all I need give me the UCF. The UCF. The UCF. <laughs> the UCF. Oh, man. Love bringing this back. San Diego State, our gals, kicking off 5 p.m. in Las Cruces, New Mexico. San Diego State is minus 16 uh, in New Mexico State. New Mexico State, plus 525. SDSU, minus 750 on the money line. Total sitting at 50 and a half. Colby, are you riding with our gals? How could you not? Rocky oh. Long doing his thing. New Mexico State's one. I feel like one of the top ten worst teams in in the country. Oh boy! So we're um, paying three, three so out of the bottom top ten. <laughs> well, we cover our gals. You know what I mean? Whoever they play, love our you know? gals. So I think th- I think they'll get it done by more than sixteen. I got them winning this by twenty. Give me the Aztecs. Rocky Long's defense. Another thing to to keep in mind here: Rocky Long, a longtime coach of New Mexico. New Mexico and New Mexico State have a heated rivalry. Whoa, whoa. I'm sure. I'm Transitive sure, property rivalry. I'm here. sure like he it. still holds that grudge against New Mexico <laughs> State. <laughs> I think so. He was at New Mexico a long time. Brian Erlacher was his was his uh, was his defensive. So give me back give me a uh, give me like a big time uh, alumnus from New Mexico State. <laughs> Football. <laughs> yeah. the, the Ravens just drafted somebody a wide receiver. Okay. Uh, what the fuck is his name? And they're running. They had a good running back a couple years ago. Okay. R- Ravens drafted what the hell? Uh, is Miles his name? Boykin. No, I think two years ago the Ravens drafted a New Mexico State wideout. I'm, I'm struggling to remember his name. He was actually a baller though. But Kramer, Jaleel Scott. Yeah, that's it. That's it. And, and a cornerback for Buffalo, John Tay Green. Uh, yeah. Listen, at this point, 
the best cocaine we've had this year has been this San Diego State team <laughs> hitting them on the money line last week was fabulous. Uh, that UCLA team is garbage, so they're going to be nice and rested. They didn't play a tough. Th- there's no toughness on a Chip Kelly team. <laughs> I, I mean, San Diego State's good. Yeah, uh, there's no reason they can't blow this game out. Uh, so yeah, if I'm gonna if I'm gonna get chalky and start agreeing with the database, mm. it's gonna be on San Diego State. Are we worried about elevation, New I Mexico don't, State? Don't give nah, a Las Cruces, shoot. I think is that I think that's by El Paso, so I don't think it's as high. Uh, like when you go to to you're Mexico. thinking Al- Albuquerque. Yeah, elevation thirty nine hundred mm. yeah. feet. That's not I yeah. eight thousand. Yeah. yeah, big difference. You might feel that though. Yeah. All right, San Diego, I'm, I'm, San Diego is like, like what fifty feet. Above I'm riding point. our gals. They did me right against Chip. I'm I'm juicing off that plus two twenty five. Keep it going. Oh, Sean, really dragging. Let's go. All right, we're, Ryan. Dra- we're dragging. Trying to get through this podcast. Before we do, just a reminder: go to youtubecom slash podcast. We're trying. We get up to a uh, thousand subscribers on that thing. We will uh, start streaming the shows live on YouTube. So look out for that. You want to you want to interact with us uh, live? Subscribe. <laughs> hey. YouTube.com. <laughs> hey, uh, <laughs> hey, ladies, you want to interact with yeah, us live? Yeah. <laughs> I had a couple of uh, live interactions this uh, past nice. weekend in Las Vegas. Oh, man. First Twitter question coming from uh, Nate Doggone mm. or Nate D O G N E. Okay. He wants to know about the Arizona State game against Michigan State. In East Lansing, MSU minus thirteen and a half, minus five twenty five on the money line. Arizona State plus four fifteen, total sitting at forty two and a half. Colby, what are you doing here? I'm going with the Sun Devils. That's a little bit too many points. Uh, for I was going to ask yeah. you, why is this number so big? I think maybe the potential of uh, this is uh, the Arizona State quarterback's uh, first road game. He's a freshman. So I guess he's good though. Defense. He's good though. Uh, but I mean, I, I do like Michigan State this year. I think there are people sleeping on them, but I, I just think thirteen and a half is too much. You know, Benjamin's one of the best running backs in America. Arizona State's got them. They got some talented wideouts. Williams at wideout. Um, defensively, I love that they have Rocky Long, our our gal's old uh, assistant as their as their DC. Love the way they play defense. So uh, I, I'm on the a- or on the Aztecs. I'm on the uh, Sun Devils to get this with with that with that line. Michigan you State will get the win. You nailed it for yeah. me. That, that that defense? Yeah. How many starts does he have again? Zero? Zero uh, point zero? For their quarterback, yeah. 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 Okay. Top recruit out of LA though. Oh okay. Yeah. I'm laying the points. Okay. I, I feel like we're late to the party. He's this, an athlete though, man. This number opened at ten and a half. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll yeah. get there. So I'm not going to advise a big play here on, for the clients. It's hard for me to want to fade this Michigan State. I know I said a couple weeks yeah. ago, how are they going to lay so many points with that offense? I, I Arizona still, State still a little worried, has, but uh, yeah, Arizona, Michigan State defense is really good. Arizona State is really uh, just not even come even close to covering spreads, <laughs> and uh, I, I I think they struggle here in Michigan State. And uh, little this is a complete random random nugget courtesy of BetQL. Mark D'Antonio is twenty and five after two consecutive games with a turnover margin of plus one or better while coaching Michigan State. So when things get hot for him uh, and, and they're turning people over, look out for Michigan State. Go I'll Sparty. say this, though, man. They, they, Michigan State's played, uh, what, Western Michigan and uh, Tulsa. There's no one on those rosters that are as talented as Arizona State's. Like, Arizona State might even have more talent on their team than Michigan State. Yeah, but Arizona State, man, they're just not getting it done. Yeah, I mean, look – Full, I, it, my bad if I if I if the, the the Michigan State offense looks like shit, yeah. But I just take the under. I guess it's a super low college under forty two and a half. I j- how is Arizona State going to score a bunch of points? That that's where I'm. That that's just yeah. the position. I mean, uh, I I think that they they're going to cover that line though. That's what I'm saying. If there's not many points no, and you're I, getting thirteen and a half. Listen, this yeah. is not going to be my lock right now. Okay. <laughs> Do your thing. <laughs> Relax. Coming up next at AO2 Hockey or Hawkeye. There think, you go. Think he's a Hawks fan? <laughs> Can well, we I think Hawkeye he's a. Fan? I think he's an Iowa fan because he wants to know about the game between Iowa and Iowa State. Iowa going into Iowa State. I was minus two. 
minus 135 on the money line. Iowa State plus 115 home dog. 44 and a half is the total. Colby, are we going Iowa or Iowa? This is the hardest game to pick. <laughs> this is the the hardest game to pick on our on our sheet. Um look, last time Iowa State played names, they had like a 17-point lead and Iowa came back and won it in overtime. Mm. That was Matt Campbell's first year. Now he's in year three. I think Matt Campbell's finally going to find a way to get this done. This game is uh, probably the best game on he's, Saturday. So he's not bet. He's not beat. He Iowa. is not. Yeah. And uh, but this is this is a money game right here. This is going to be the be- this is where college game day is going. Is it? Yeah. Uh, going Ames, to Ames. Ames gets electric, but this this is going to be a dogfight, man. Uh, this will not be much scoring, I don't think. But give me Iowa State with the win. Ooh, so you're taking Iowa State plus two? Yeah, Ooh. and I got a money line on that. I'm, I'm gonna money. I'm gonna go against you there, Colby. I, I kind of like what the uh, Hawkeyes are doing. They I are good. I yeah. like that the fact that the guy that tweeted in is a cool Hawkeye name on Twitter, and they've kind of dominated cr- this uh, rivalry, well, at least when it comes to betting. Iowa, four one and one ATS in the last six matchups against Iowa State. Sometimes it's not really a rivalry, you know, like <laughs> Eli Manning versus the Eagles. To, for to yeah. call it a rivalry, <laughs> you have to win more than four out of the 20. So, yeah, give me <laughs> Iowa. You didn't think I was going to be able to bring up the Eagles in this podcast. Yeah, yeah, but but <laughs> Go birds. How much Kramer? Yeah. Uh, if this game was like five, six, seven weeks from now, I'd really I'd like probably like uh, Iowa State. I don't like Iowa State right now because I think Iowa is the better team. Today. I think Iowa's the better team too, but I think Ames College Game Day—the first time they've ever had College Game Day there. Yeah, that might be too much though, and I think that's yeah. my point about this Iowa State team. I, th- I think they're going to grow into their bodies, as they say. And uh, yes, yeah, so just something about—I I don't love this early season setting for this this spot for Iowa State. I would like it much better later. Uh, I'm going to also—I'm laying some more road chalk with Sean. Sean, we're pretty we're positioned pretty nicely to, to fade the Danta base this week. <laughs> yeah, that was the goal coming into the podcast. We had a pre-podcast meeting. We're like, how are we going to turn things around? I, I <laughs> also was my strategy. I also think that Iowa State will be a public dog. And Sean, what happens with public dogs? They got fleas. They got oh, fleas. Yeah. <laughs> Thunder and lightning right there. <laughs> Siegfried and Roy, maybe. That's better. <laughs> All right. Final uh, Twitter question. And it, it comes courtesy of Fantasy Fatic. Wants to know about the game between Florida and Kentucky. In Lexington, Kentucky, Florida, minus eight road favorite. The Wildcats, plus eight. Home dog, plus 250 on the money line. Florida, minus 300. Total sitting at 50 and a half. Colby, what are you doing here? I expect this line to go up. Yeah, because, why is it so low? Well, I mean, I, Kentucky it, it had their quarterback just not got out for the year, Terry Wilson. Yep. Oregon transfer. Um, I I just think that line's going to jump, but I'm still going to ride the Wildcats here, man. I have zero faith in Felipe Franks in that Florida offense, and I will tell you that the Kentucky was lucky enough they got when when Neil Brown of Troy accepted the West Virginia job. Troy's starting quarterback Sawyer Smith grad transferred to Kentucky, so they got a very you know experienced quarterback coming in eight eight points. But I would wait wait on this. I think I think that line's going to go up to ten or eleven. But give me Kentucky in the eight in Lexington. Kentucky beat them in Gainesville last year. Has Florida been on the road yet? No. Hmm. Interesting. Haven't been on the road yet. I agree. Feels like the number could is going to go up. People are going to bet Florida. They're paper. They're they're a total 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 paper champ. Yeah. I I still like the under for them. Paper tiger, if you will. Look at you, Sean. Check out uh, Bill Burr's <laughs> special, I, I Paper Tiger, it, on uh, Netflix. Yeah. So which do I watch first, that or the Chappelle one? They're both good. They're both good, yeah. Both controversial? Yeah. I mean. Nice. Why? Because it's funny? Uh, yeah, I'm I'm going to take the home dog here. I love the idea of fading this Florida team. They're they're just not. But wait on it. Wait on I think that line's going to go up to 10. Their ranking just yeah. isn't correct. Yeah, it's and just, Kentucky, they show up, especially this part of the year. 4-1 and one ATS in their last five games played in September. Uh, you got you to gotta, you gotta ride the home dog here. I, I, I just think rivalry-wise, doesn't it feel like Kentucky's going to get up for this game? Yeah, you would think. And also, the Sawyer Smith experience. By the way, the name Sawyer Smith? Yeah. Uh, what's the chances he writes a mystery novel later in life? Mm. <laughs> 90% of the cash on Solve some crimes. The database may be right. This line's moving. 
Yeah, Wilson's a good QB, but I think this, the Sawyer Smith thing, as long as he's got that offense down, uh, they're in good shoes, good hands, good shoes. <laughs> good shoes? <laughs> good shape, maybe? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Anyway, let's let's get let's get this thing going. Happy <laughs> Lock, dog, and tease, courtesy of mybookie.ag, where we pulled all these uh, beautiful, sexy lines. Colby, kick things off. Who is your lock? My lock is, uh, you know, look, you gotta stay with, you gotta you gotta go to the bad teams, man. You gotta you gotta. Trust You're going the bad Charlotte. teams. You're going to lock up Charlotte. for. I am things. going to lock up. No, I'm not. I'm locking up the Virginia Cavaliers minus seven and a half mm. in oh. Charlottesville. You see my body language right now? <laughs> Getting tense. <laughs> no, I just like everything came out. I, everything just released because. Oh, my God. I almost it was need, close to being Louisiana mop? Tech. Yeah. <laughs> What's going on underneath I, the table? I don't feel great about being on Colby's lock. <laughs> oh, God, no. I might have to pivot my lock right now. <laughs> Um, uh, what's my dog? <laughs> my dog. I, I think I'm going to go off the radar. Off the radar. Uh, can I do that for dog or is that? Is well, that ideally, since you pick the games. <laughs> okay. Okay. They would be on the radar, okay. but yeah, you know what? Let's keep go, go that's yourself. what the bonus. Let him, let him go, go off. Yourself. That's what the bonus lock is for. Oh, okay. Well, well uh, I, I, guess I took, I only took one dog in, in, All right. in the six All right. pack. All right. <laughs> that's another <laughs> red flag. <laughs> Uh, look, you got to change it up. You got to change it All up. Right, I was go, wait, wait, more, changing right? it up would be doing something different. <laughs> Taking favorites every week. Pick, I didn't do pick, that last week, did I? Pick whatever no, dog you want. Uh, okay. The, the concept of you takes favorites every week. The, the dog. I'm gonna ride. Uh, I'm gonna ride Georgia State at oh Western. God. What at, the fuck's going at on? At Western right Michigan. Okay. Right. They're a, they're a 12 point dog, I believe. Sean, or? make sure you write that one so down. So what's the money line? Uh oh shit. Let me pull that up. You got that? You got that right here? Georgia what do you State, need? Georgia State and uh and the Western Michigan. Money line is plus two eighty. Boom. See? Anything else anything else, Mr. Dantabase? Well look, I could give you Iowa State, but that's only plus one fifteen. I try to give oh. my clients real money. Thank you. You know what I mean? Thank you. I appreciate <laughs> that. Kobe, what do you got going for a tease? Tease, let's <laughs> The last sixty minutes. Yeah, let's go. Let's let's <laughs> let's just uh, let's take down uh, Virginia to a point and a half. Okay. Let's nice let's work on the key numbers. There. Let's bump uh, up <laughs> Syracuse to thirty three and a half. Where did you put Colby? Right. And let's let's take Charlotte down to thirteen. Okay. <laughs> Done. Give me the money now, man. Lock it up. All right, Kramer. Uh, no Coastal Carolina. And what do you have a bonus lock? I do have a bonus lock. Oh oh. And that is uh, Eastern Michigan, plus the points in Champaign, Illinois. How Third road get? game in a row for Eastern Michigan. You're getting so They're cute. Getting plus eight. Yeah. Okay. You're getting so cute. I, I totally thought you were going to take Oklahoma. Look. Kramer. That, 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 that's going to happen, too. But I'm saying. <laughs> Unfortunately, wow. I also have UVA. Whoa, wow. The powers are too strong. Ooh, Willie Taggart. What the fuck? Is garbage. <laughs> I, I would like this better at seven. Willie Taggart's garbage. This UVA team is a team of destiny. Uh, all those Wahoos are going to be just shaking in there or rattling around in the stadium. It's going to be a, a four, ooh, 730 kick. It's going to be really <laughs> rabid all in their sport coats and dresses, going nuts, eating scones probably. Uh, oh, it's just me. I, I threw up in my mouth a little bit picking that as my my dog. Can we can we get can we get a little crazy here? What's that? <laughs> well, as much as I want to call for Air Force to pull the upset, mm -hmm. I'm gonna take Kentucky. Nice. Oh, that's Plus two fifty. Be Come on. Because Florida and that quarterback of theirs. About as high variance as I, I've seen. Yeah. And Kentucky seems like a competent. Hey, program. they won ten games last year. Yeah, they lost yeah. some talent, but that's all right. Uh, as far as the T's, yeah, let's let's double dip with UVA. Let's juice that Air Force number up to nine and a half. Mm. You know, you don't like that one, Sean? No, I'm saying that's that's I like you know that makes sense because, as you know, uh, four seven those are key mm. numbers. Mm. Anything else you'd like to educate me on? No, I was saying mm, as in good idea. And uh, <laughs> Ryan's on tilt. Tiny bit. 
tiny bit on tilt. And for the last leg of my tease, I say, why not? Let's tease. No, nah, let, let's tease Michigan State down to seven and a half. Not very, not very key, but. Michigan State down to seven and a half. Do you have a bonus lock, Ryan? I do, Sean. What is it? Well, I have a. Can we do? Uh, uh, let me ask this: Does the contract allow for multiple bonus locks? No, no, no. Because it affects his scoring. Washington, who they lose to last week, they humbled. Lost to Cal. Yeah. Now yeah. who comes to town? Hawaii. Oh, and it's only twenty-one points. <laughs> Yes, please. <laughs> Minus 21 for the Washington Huskies. You dub. <laughs> I'm a Coug man. Give me for my uh, for my lock. Give me uh, the Syracuse Orange men catching 27 and a half at mm. home for my dog. Uh, I mean, I, I think Pitt could be a live dog. It's a little high. Um, you got. You got you. Are you got the nerve to take this? Or are you just gonna sit there and flirt around and go with someone? I'm gonna, I'm gonna tickle. One, you know? I'm gonna, oh, uh, I'm gonna go with Kentucky plus two fifty. Okay, but I, I would say that I think Pittsburgh is uh, a live dog. Imagine a football game where you can get twenty five to one on the home team with yeah. Syracuse. Yeah, uh, I will be betting. <laughs> I on will Syracuse. be sprinkling some too. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. <laughs> That's insane. Yeah. I mean, they almost beat them last year. $50. And they beat them the year before. $50 in the dollars dome, pays yeah. a grand. For my tease, give me a UVA uh, minus one and a half. UCF minus one and a half. And, uh, that one worried me. I left it off the tease because I, I have a sneaky, like, what Stanford pulls a weird upset. It's possible. Mm -hmm. Just I'm letting you know my feelings. And uh, the last leg of my tease... Uh, I'll take, uh, I mean, I'll take Louisiana Tech lane four. What? Yeah. Wait, minus four. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Kramer was just, uh, outraged by the pick. He's a big I, I didn't realize you agreed with the database on that one. That is troubling. Fading. You know what? That's it. We're doing it. I want to, I want, I'm send over the database top 140 or whatever. And I, we're <laughs> posting it. We're going to have a page. We'll have Colby's full ranking. So you too <laughs> will know who his bottom five there we are. Go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why do you only do top 25, Colby? Come on. The database rankings? Oh, anyway, you know. Uh, let's do it. Fuck it. You want to go? You're going to start giving me, you're going to rank all the teams? If you want to do it, I can do whatever you want, man. You know what I mean? Well, do you, do you want to? Is it something that you're passionate about? Uh, How about this? Top twenty-five, and you give a bottom five. Okay, there bottom five is kind of funny, we but we need it. We need <laughs> Colby's bottom bitches. <laughs> what what do they what do they call when people leave beers around a party? A floater. Floater. Yeah. Five float. No, that's not. That doesn't work. We'll, we'll workshop it. My bonus lock. Five give me wounded soldiers. I'm sorry. Go. go, go Thank go. you. Yeah. Thank you, Colby. <laughs> sorry. For a bonus lock, give me Oklahoma. <laughs> Rolling fade. against hashtag fade chip. All right, guys. Thank you for participating in the Sports Gambling Podcast. Make sure you rate, review, and share on the old iTunes. Again, subscribe to youtube.com slash sports gambling podcast. And we actually uh recent uh, review that's oh. uh, pretty fun to read. Oh, I'd reading like to, is fun. It is. And it uh it uh You need help, Sean? No, it just it took me a second to bring it up, but I was Got just going to tie it in because it's very fitting. We just broke down the Iowa Iowa State game, and this gentleman is <laughs> uh, from <laughs> Iowa, and his name is uh, Jimmy O seven O seven. Love the podcast, love the podcast, and with sports betting now available in Iowa with Sean and Ryan's great picks, I will win enough money to be able to move out of <laughs> Iowa. <laughs> so we're changing lives out here, people. Sean, well, let's let's just read one more because it, it's it sounds like a call to action to me. Love this show. Five stars by Louis Jew six nine. OK, Lou Jew six nine. That feels a little offensive. Come for the picks. Stay for the banter. After years of this, I feel like I'm one of the crew. Only criticism. Appreciate the feedback. Get some different sound bites. Same ones have been played for years now. Ooh. At Living Life in Maryland. Uh, listen. Hey. This is an interactive show, buddy. Yes, and if you got a sound bite you guys like, email it in. Podcast at sportsgamblingpodcast.com. Our sound bites are fucking strong, first of uh, all. Yeah, they're really good. We could we could freshen them up a little bit. I, I brought this one back. It's a classic. No! 
<laughs> That's for you, Kramer. That's for me. Yes, exactly. Well, I, you know, working on it, but th- this is my uh, this is my response to that guy. <laughs> <laughs> Did you check out the uh, Sports Gambling Podcast Instagram feed? Oh yeah, yeah. Are, are you out. asking? You, you mean you're pointing <laughs> to the camera? Hey, did you Dude. check out the? Uh, of course, we, of course I did. Oh, okay, it's yeah, on. It's yeah. on. You know, watch it with the kids. So yeah, awesome, we, we, awesome, man. I did show them some of those big hit videos. I was like football. Get that Coastal Carolina coach dancing with the, with the pinata of Kansas in the locker room. What was it? North Dakota. What or, was the uh, what was like, Montana was the, Tech? Montana Tech. We yeah. really, yeah. Kudos to our social media director. They're doing a good job. Great job. Keep Great killing job. it over there. Give us a follow. <laughs> Instagram, Sports Gambling Podcast. And for the Sports Gambling Podcast, I'm Sean stacking the money green for Colby Dant, the Danta base. And he is Ryan. Justin Fuente, you better sleep on your back. <laughs> Kramer, let it ride.